Good evening, Dave, Rolling Springs Ranch. It's been a minute. Life gets in the way when you work on a farm. So today, we are going to dispatch the Peking Ducks. We got four of them that we picked up from Tractor Supply a couple months ago. And actually, they're probably past their, their prime time to, uh, to put them down, but you know how it goes. So what we did for a temporary, uh, just for today, is we just cut a, cut a bucket. And uh, that's what we're gonna use. We don't have the metal cones or anything like that. Um, we got the, the pot. We're gonna bring this up to temperature. I think, what are we doing? 160 to 170 degrees. Um, we don't have a turkey plucker yet. So, um, you know, we got a little ahead of the, the game and got the ducks and, and so forth. So we're gonna plug them by hand. There's only four. Uh, it shouldn't be that big of a deal, um, but those guys, they do eat a lot, and they should have been put down a long time ago. So I'm going to light this thing, get it going. I'm going to go grab, uh, we got the cooler to put them in when we're done, or before we bring them inside and, and uh, vacuum seal them up. And so, yeah, so I'm going to go grab a nozzle for the hose so we can... Uh, rinse any kind of bloodiness away and uh, when we got them out and so forth so let me get to it let me get this thing lit we'll go grab a duck and uh, we'll go through the motions so here are three here are three of the little guys that we're gonna put down so they're having their last little green meal so I'm going to run up and go grab the nozzle. All right. So we put a little bit of Dawn Dish soap in there to help kind of penetrate uh, the oils on their skin um, to help the plucking process. Um, so we're sitting at 75 degrees right now. So we're waiting up to get it up to about 100 degrees. And then we'll go up to the barn, we'll go snag a duck, and uh, we'll tell his friends that we'll be right back for them as well. So we'll give it a couple minutes and uh, we'll get it in our homemade cone. So basically we want to do this as quick and humane as possible. So I'm ready to go with the knife. She's getting ready to put it in this thing. Hopefully it will fit in this bucket. Or a container that we have and then we'll slit its throat and then so all right so we got this one bled out he's just chilling in the cone right now I just rinsed it off so there's no no blood in the video and, and I didn't show you know the slicing of the throat and so forth um, you guys get the gist of that so getting the water temp up Sitting right around a buck and a quarter, so um, letting it do its thing, and then we'll take them. We'll take them from the bucket, and we'll put them in here, dunk them in there for a couple minutes. Um, we'll do a little feather pluck test. Um, like I said, we're doing this all by hand, so it's going to take us a little bit, but we only got four to do. So next go around, once we have the meat birds and more ducks, uh, chances are we are probably going to have a uh a plucker of some sort so um definitely to speed the process up but this is what we're dealt with today and this is what we're doing so stand by let's get this water temp up two down two to go pretty simple we got our water temp up taking the four out laying them across the four-wheeler then we'll start dipping them and Pulling feathers. I think she's having. I think she's having problems catching the the others. They know something's up. Um, they're very vocal. We had three females and one male, and, uh, and here she comes. So, all right, let's do round three. 
while drinking my Coors Light, waiting for the water to spike up, uh, I actually went past my mark. So, got the four of them done. That's all we're gonna do today. Um, and uh, so yeah, so we're going we're gonna put them in the hot water two minutes. We're gonna pull a feather, see if it comes out. And uh, if they don't come out that easy, we'll dunk them again for a little bit until we find that that easy feather plucking stage. But uh, yeah, overall, these four lived a pretty good life. I'm not gonna lie. So, all right, guys. So we just finished processing our four Peking ducks. Um, it, it wasn't terribly bad, um, but it would have been a lot faster if we had a plucker. So we know that is on the list of things to get here in the near future. Um, you can also tell by um, looking at these ducks, you can see the yellowish color. Now these are all oh, jumbo, peking. Jum, yeah, jumbo peking ducks, free ranged. Um, now the only one that was not free ranged was this one. She had a broken foot in the beginning and she never really recovered. And you can see she's white in color compared to the other three that were out grazing and, and picking for bugs and eating grass and whatever else. So um, overall, I think we did, I think we did pretty good. So anyway, um, you know, that's pretty much a wrap on this one. So we're getting ready to dry them off vacuum seal them, throw them in the deep freezer. So this is pretty much a wrap. Sorry if I wasn't very descriptive in this, but you know, it's kind of hard to, uh, to man a video camera and to perform uh, what needs to get done all at the same time. I don't have the luxury of having multiple cameras set up and so forth. So anyway, we'll do a video when we, when we cook one up and glaze it. But for now, Dave, Rolling Springs Ranch. If you like what you see, click the like and subscribe. On to the next.